William Jacob Will Cuppy, 1884-1949, was an American humorist and literary critic celebrated for his satirical books on nature and historical figures as well as his humorous take on his own bachelor lifestyle. Unlike the tumultuous and adventurous life of Frank Harris, Cuppy's existence was marked by a quieter, albeit equally distinct, form of rebellion against the societal norms of his time. This video explores Cuppy's life, focusing on his unique contributions to journalism and literature, and how his bachelor lifestyle influenced his work and humor. Born in Auburn, Indiana, Cuppy would eventually become one of the most beloved humorists in America, known for his wit and a peculiar penchant for solitude. After completing his education at the University of Chicago, where he obtained a PhD in English literature, Cuppy carved a niche for himself as a literary critic and humorist. His bachelorhood was not merely a personal choice, but a lifestyle that deeply influenced his writing and worldview. Cuppy's journey into the world of letters began with his academic pursuit at the University of Chicago. His scholarly background, though not directly visible in his humorous writings, provided a solid foundation for his critical analyses of literature and history. Despite his academic achievements, Cuppy chose not to follow a conventional career path in academia. Instead, he ventured into the bustling world of New York City to pursue a career in writing, marking the beginning of his unique blend of literary criticism and humor. In New York, Cuppy found his calling as a writer and critic. He contributed regularly to major publications like the New York Herald Tribune, where his book reviews and essays gained a loyal readership. Cuppy's writing style was distinctive for its dry wit and the application of scholarly criticism to everyday subjects. His columns often featured humorous observations on animals, plants, and historical figures presenting factual information laced with satire and irony. Cuppy's bachelor lifestyle was a significant aspect of his identity and work. He lived most of his life in a small apartment in Greenwich Village and later in a secluded shack on Jones Island off the coast of Long Island. This choice of solitude was not just a personal preference but a creative retreat where Cuppy found the peace necessary to write his meticulously researched books. His bachelorhood characterized by a lack of domestic distractions and a commitment to personal freedom, allowed Cuppy to devote himself entirely to his craft. Cuppy's most famous works, including How to Tell Your Friends from the Apes, 1931, and How to Become Extinct, 1941, reflect his bachelor sensibilities. These books, with their humorous takes on natural history and human folly, showcase Cuppy's ability to observe and critique human nature from the vantage point of an amused outsider. His bachelor lifestyle, with its emphasis on independence and observation, permeated his writing, making his work resonate with readers who appreciated his unique perspective and wit. Cuppy's humor was not just for entertainment, it was a tool for social critique. Through his satirical lens, he examined the absurdities of human behavior and societal norms. His bachelor status afforded him a detached viewpoint, enabling him to poke fun at the conventions of marriage, family life, and professional ambition without malice but with a sharpness that only an outsider could wield. Cuppy's impact on American humor and journalism extends beyond his lifetime. His books continue to be celebrated for their intelligence and wit, and his style has influenced generations of humorists and writers. His approach to life and writing serves as a reminder of the power of individuality and the importance of maintaining a personal voice in a world that often values conformity. William Cuppy's life and work offer a fascinating glimpse into the mind of a man who chose to live on his own terms, both personally and professionally. His bachelor lifestyle was not just a background detail, but a central element that shaped his worldview and creative output. Through his humorous critique of society and nature, Cuppy carved out a niche that still resonates with readers today, proving that wit and wisdom can indeed go hand in hand. His legacy is a testament to the enduring appeal of humor as a means of reflection, critique, and ultimately, connection with the world.